come back with the answer to today's true crime trivia question. Now, I mentioned earlier that I'm doing this question today because on this date, 331 years ago, eight people were hanged as part of the Salem Witch Trials. They would be the last group executed, but certainly not the last people accused. So, this leads to the question, when was the last victim of the Salem Witch Trials exonerated? A. 1711 B. 1792 C. 1959 or D. 2022 The answer is 2022. The story behind this is pretty remarkable. But first, let's journey back to 1693. 22-year-old Elizabeth Johnson Jr. was accused of being a witch. The Johnson family were a regular target for suspected witchcraft, with 28 people in the family being accused. Elizabeth ended up confessing that she was in fact a witch and she was sentenced to death. However, the governor ended up giving her a reprieve and she lived to be 77 years old. Over the years, many victims of the Salem witch trials were exonerated. The exonerations occurred in 1711, and in 1712, Elizabeth herself asked if she could be exonerated, but for unknown reasons, she wasn't. And it would take nearly 330 years before her name was cleared, and it's all thanks to an eighth grade civics teacher and her students. Carrie Lapierre, seen here, is a civics teacher at North Andover Middle School in Massachusetts. Along with her classes of 8th grade students, she spent three years working to exonerate Elizabeth Johnson Jr. The project provided hands-on experience in civics for students, including lessons in historical research, the legislative process, and restorative justice. While it took a number of years for a politician to take on the student's project, one finally did, and in July 2022, Elizabeth Johnson Jr.'s name was cleared making her the last victim of the Salem Witch Tiles to be exonerated. Let me know your thoughts on this story below. And if you like this true crime trivia question, please like, comment, and follow for more. I release new trivia videos regularly.